Hello and welcome back to Guillotined 18th Century Chemist Theater. Today I thought we'd do a very brief lesson just to review quantum numbers. We did spend two lessons going through how to uh, go through the rule set, the cascading rule sets for quantum numbers. And so I thought it'd be nice to show you some quantum addresses and for you to decide whether or not they are legitimate addresses. And so based on the rules of quantum numbers that we talked about, take a look at each one of these and decide whether or not it's a realistic address for an electron, any electron. All right, so we'll go ahead and pause the video and then we'll start working through these. All right, welcome back. All right, so what do you think of the first one, legit or not legit? It is a legitimate address, right? N can certainly be two. If N is two, L can be one. Uh, M sub L can be anything from L to negative L, so negative 1 is okay, 0 and 1 would have also been okay, and spin up is certainly fine. So take a look at the second one, what do you think, legit or not legit? That's right, not, not legit, or not legit. N can be 1, but if N is 1, L cannot be 1, right? Because it can be anything from 0 to N minus 1. So right off the bat, we know that can't happen. Uh, that would mean that on the first energy level, you have a P subshell, and that, that certainly can't happen. So that one's out. Out of here, buddy. So take a look at the next one. What do you think? Legit or not legit? Legit, right? N can be 5, any, N can be any positive integer. Um, so if n is 5, uh, l can go up to 3. Remember that you can have uh, 0, 1, 2, or 3. You can't go beyond 3 because uh, 3 is the f subshell. So you can't go beyond 3. But if l is 3, m sub l can certainly be 3, and spin can be minus 1 half, so you're good to go. What about the next one? That's right, we don't want that guy there. He's a trouble. Uh, and, and you can tell uh, n can be 1, l can be 0. Uh, if n is 1, but again, m sub l cannot exceed the absolute value of l. Uh, so uh, you can't have an m sub l of 2 if l is only 0. So he's out of there. Next one, what do you think? Exactly legit. Uh, n can be 3. If n is 3, l can be 2. If l is 2, m sub l can be 2. Uh, we're down to negative 2, and you can have a spin up. What do you think of the next one? Yep, he's actually absolutely not allowed. Again, for the same reason as before, the L's fine based on that N, but you cannot exceed L for M sub L, so he's out. What do you think of the next one? Yep, he's out right away. N can't be zero. He's out. Cool. Next one, what do you think? He's out. Yep, you can't have, you can't have M sub L uh, exceed L. What do you think of the next one? You're not framed, you're out. <laughs> For a couple reasons. Uh, you can't have um, you can't have a negative one L, and you certainly can't have an M sub S of zero. So both both bad reasons. And the last one, he's good. Exactly right. Uh, you can have an N of three, uh, and if N is three, L can certainly be zero, M sub L can certainly be zero, and you can have a minus one half spin. And so if, if for quantum numbers, if you can at least look at them and figure it out whether or not they are legitimate, you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt through uh, some quantum number practice. Um, in the next lesson, we'll go on to determine orbital diagrams, which actually build off of our quantum number information. So see you next time. Have a great day.